Hello guys, Roby here. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am playing the game Nightingale. If you're playing solo or if you're playing with friends or complete strangers, it's all good in my book. And so, um, if you attempt to log in into Nightingale today, um, probably in the past hour, you probably noticed you got a message saying shards not found. And it's because they have planned maintenance for the game today. They announced it in Discord server yesterday. And so that's what this video is about. It's going, this video is going to be a short one. I'm going to run through the list of improvements and fixes they have for the game today. And so here we go. And so um, this update includes improvements for the following um, player byway, uh, which is the tutorial roams. Sometimes getting into a bad state, unable to finish quest portals, not opening. I've heard a few people talking about this um, on the forums and also in Reddit and stuff like that. Add in server region select for player characters. This is a welcome change for those who are playing and connecting to servers not in their region, um, like EU players connecting to NA servers and stuff like that. Um, another point here is some key bind slash key press inconsistencies. So that's a welcome fix. Additional slash updated messaging for future server maintenance periods. This is also good. Water bottle essence balance changes. Uh, we knew this was coming in the game. Um, prior to this patch, you could purchase water bottle essence for, um, you could bought, purchase water bottles for 10 essence and um, break it down for 40 essence. I can see how that can cascade. People were piling up on this. I, I took advantage of this too. <laughs> so, uh, but I knew this was coming though. They uh, made mention of this. Um, another point here is players occasionally cannot get items from vault structures. I've run into that, like my furnace or hurt. Seeds not growing in simple plant pot structure. Uh, and also additional bug fixes and game adjustments. So all this are welcome improvements to the game. <clears throat> now, they also stated here that full patch notes will be provided after server maintenance is complete. And uh, we're expecting maintenance to take approximately one hour to complete. I will provide an update when servers are back online. Now, <clears throat> in the same notes, they did, sorry about that, they did mention that um, economy changes for reclaimed ingots slash lumber will be addressed in the next patch. Um, use, um, so what this is talking about is that right now in the game, you can use specific minor realm cards like the Settler Apogee's card to increase the yield of ingots from reclaimed ingots or lumber and stuff like that in the game and so it's saying if you like and because of this and also because of this tag um, exploit there or, or I'll, well it's an exploit because it's exploit an in-game feature and i even made videos about that um some people were complaining that they were not getting the full experience of the game or enjoying the game because there were people in public vaults that one shot and not two tapping bosses. And so that's what this next part is about. If you would like to run the vaults privately before then, you can obtain the vault major realm card from the essence trader in the watch. Given access to the same apex vaults from, from your private realm portals but without external public matchmaking. And that's it. That's all it says here and they ended up by saying thank you for your patience and joining us on this journey and that's it guys and um, that patch is going to bring the um, game to version 0 0.1.1 okay and that's it i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in case you couldn't connect and you were getting the um, message shards not found and with that um happy enjoying um happy um adventuring and i um, hope you guys keep enjoying the game as i am with my friends and with that, Roby out. Peace.